This is our top story at 8 o'clock. 25 bishops from across the north are in Lancashire today to promote church life. The Bishop of Blackburn says the diocese has to make itself more relevant. You see, when the Holy Spirit fills a person, he sets them absolutely free. Free to worship, free to witness. Even the most nervous can't stop witnessing because they are filled with a light which has to come out. All over the diocese. And uh, we're going to be having a lot of conversations with people, giving a number of talks and addresses, attending various events. And I hope we'll see both uh, new people coming to faith who haven't known Jesus before. I would love it if more people, people who haven't yet really come into contact with what a living faith might look like, if they could just meet with us and in meeting us find that the door had opened for them to meet with Jesus. The bishops of the Northern Province met on Holy Island um, two and a half years ago to work out how do we make the message of Jesus alive and fresh and we decided that we should be together in mission by visiting our diocese. The first one was Sheffield and they called, they, they called it Cross, Lord, Crossroads Mission and Blackburn was the next so 23 of us have come to be here with our mission teams to share the love of God in Jesus Christ in the place. And of course next year is going to be uh, Durham. So we're going around as bishops of the province with our mission teams to go in different places allocated to us by the diocese. We're going to be living, we're going to be meeting people. My program is very varied. I've got 19 events I've got to go to between now and Sunday. But the message is still very, very simple. God loves you and he wants you to be his friend in Jesus Christ. It's been brilliant. We've been to all kinds of events all around Blackpool and uh, met some amazing people, heard some amazing stories and just shared a little bit of life with people for a couple of days. It's been amazing. There are a whole variety of events and I think that reflects the diocese you know, uh, and the different churches. And it's great that uh, people have been thinking what's, what, what, are, what are good ways that we can do to share our faith. As, as church schools in this diocese, it's, it's really all about saying, do you know what? There is a greater understanding that we can have of a life that is in its fullness, and that life is a life with God. I hope that one of the things that will come out of the Crossroads mission is people in different parts of the diocese understanding the wonderful things that are happening, the way that God is changing lives, changing communities, but also understanding something of the challenges and the opportunities in parts of the diocese that are a little bit different from their own town, country, moorland, vale and, and so on. Um, for myself as a member of the clergy I feel incredibly um, encouraged uh, by people who would actually give up their weekend and give up their time to come and encourage us in our ministry. Well, since my daughter started school, to be honest, she's, all, she's, she's loved it, she's loved learning about it all. You know, they, they took books in today, their favourite books, my daughter took a Bible. I think if they could look forward to more events like this, I think it would really yeah. jolly them up a little bit and get them more involved. I think it's all... It was on the other side of the road when this lady said, you know, going to the match, do you fancy going in and lighting a candle for your team? And we, we sort of looked at me and sort of, well, does she really mean that? <laughs> and then, you know, came came in and this is exactly what it is. And it's just a great idea to make things relevant, like you said, you know, bring people in for things that you wouldn't actually think was linked with the church. Did you enjoy the service today? Did you like? Did you like bringing your pets? Yeah, I thought it was very good. It's a very good way to bring uh, children to the service, and it's been an eye opener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we we went on holiday to Italy. We were sort of staying in a private villa with a with a pool. So we all ran to the pool. Jake's floating face down in the pool. You know, I, I know when everybody found out. You know, everybody was was praying for us and. I just found it really comfort comforting, do you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't have classed myself as particularly religious. So I, th I think it's not something that I'm, I'm sort of going to start actively seeking out, but I think it'll start, it'll start seeking me out, I think, and I'm, I'm more receptive to it than, than I was. So we walk to this lady and we start chatting to her and she, she starts, um, we ask her if she knows Jesus and believes in God. And She's a little bit cynical and I'm thinking, right, okay, she's going to be a general chit-chat and she's going to go her own way. 
then she starts telling uh, telling us about her boyfriend who's in prison and because he's in prison she's having a hard time these days. and then we ask what prison and then it turns out that he's in the prison that I went to this morning with the Archbishop and it's like right okay there's a bit of a coincidence and then Ben's raising an eyebrow at me like God's at work here won't you know. And the uh, pastor from the local church comes down and he's staying in a hotel opposite uh, the hostel where she's staying and, and she's hungry and these sorts of things and he starts lining things up and, and then um, he then brings over a guy who's, a, uh, who's the pastor of the local prison to where a uh, fella is. Uh, who she was talking about she wants to marry, might be married in prison. All these things start unfolding. And I'm thinking, these are not coincidences. You know, I mean, she ends up going off completely connected to all these people who are imme immediately going to enrich her life. The, the diocese has risen to the challenge that we placed before and uh, for parishes to have put up so many different events to share something of the Christian faith, whether it's through something social or whether it's through something deliberately uh, proclamatory, well, they've done really, really well. And I'm just in awe at what I've seen and the quality of what's been put on. I'm first of all enormously impressed by our parishes, by our clergy, by those who've organised events and the ambition that they've shown. And I think the key word for me now is confidence, because the thing that stops us proclaiming the gospel is often confidence. Confidence that actually people will listen to and respond to the message. Well, there's been huge amounts of confidence now. And what matters is what happens tomorrow and the next day and the next day because I think local churches and parishes around this diocese will now have seen that actually we can make a difference. People have been so blessed and, and the queues yesterday in Lancaster to, to, to speak to the Archbishop and the conversations with, uh, with just loads of people has been fantastic.